So food chemistry is really important to food science because it allows us to explain at a basic chemical level what is going on in a food. In my personal opinion, maybe biased a little bit, and I think the food chemistry is the core of food science. Food safety is very important, but food chemistry really gets down to the molecular level to explain how the individual molecules interact, whether they're macromolecules or small molecules, proteins, lipids, carbohydrates, or even minerals, vitamins, how they interact in the food system under different process conditions to create the type of organoleptic properties mm -hmm. like aroma, texture, pigments, color. Without a thorough understanding of chemical reactions occurring in food during processing and storage, it's very difficult to come up with a niche concept about the new products. Any new products, the quality, organoleptic properties, sensory properties, even including safety, could go back down to the basic chemical reactions. So I think this is a direct linkage between the chemical reactions in food and the success of a new product. Some of the peptides have their unique functionalities. For example, they can regulate the viscosity of food because they have tend to have very good vis uh, solubility. And some of them, again, they can serve as antioxidants in food. Um, so we conducted a uh, quite a few projects to demonstrate uh, that mild oxidation could be desirable in terms of uh, food quality. Without a mild oxidation, we may not have as much complex aroma in cooked food. Prebiotic is food for the bacteria. So prebiotic is carbohydrates that you're eating that don't get digested by you but are saved for the bacteria. A prebiotic passes through your stomach and large intestine unscathed, just skates right through. But then by definition when it hits your large intestine, which is where all of your gut bacteria are hanging out, then the prebiotic needs to be fermented by those gut bacteria and provide some sort of measurable health benefit to the host and also promote the growth of health-promoting bacteria. The effect of prebiotics on human health varies somewhat based on their individual structures. But in general, you'll see if you consume prebiotics, you'll see fermentation in your large intestine, production of some short-chain fatty acids, which have some downstream health effects, and then a potential shift in the bacteria population in your large intestine. So the like ecological um, makeup, which species you have growing in your large intestine will vary based on what you feed them. The structure that you eat affects the bacteria that grow, mm -hmm. which affects the byproducts that are produced, which affects then your body's physiological response to it.